you're touring the Port of Milwaukee, sure. and that is something that got $9 million from the infrastructure law, that bipartisan infrastructure law. How is that money being used to help that port, and specifically farmers? So that funding is going to help with cargo handling equipment that will increase the capacity of the port for agriculture exports. Part of why I'm here is that I think when Americans see ports on TV, usually you're seeing these big container ports bringing in things like flat screen TVs from Asia. Obviously very important, but another very important side of America's ports has to do with the export side, making sure that things like our, our amazing agricultural products that we grow right here in the Midwest and in America's heartland get out to the rest of the country and the rest of the world, bringing income back home. In order for all of that to work, you got to have strong supply chains, and part of that is our Great Lakes ports. They're not the world's biggest ports. They're not moving millions of containers, but they're incredibly important for the communities they serve. Yesterday, I was in uh, Menominee and Marinette, uh, right up at the base of the UP, and then we were in Manitowoc, two examples of ports that are very important for uh, all kinds of different supply chains, and the same is true right here in Milwaukee. So I'm looking forward to seeing how those dollars from the Biden-Harris infrastructure package are going to help and, and the benefits that's going to have for the economy here.